Welcome back to Farm and Hammer, everyone. I'm out at the rental farm. I'm trying to get the group of cows to get close to the corral here. Um, I've been creep feeding this group of calves for, I don't know, about a month now. And I've got about 17 or 18 coming in. So I'm going to try to catch the ones I can catch today. My dad was nice enough to let me use his corral to wean in. Um, since all his calves are weaned and had their two rounds of shots. Um, so anyway, his calves are out of the way. All I got to do is drop them off at the corral and I'll be feeding them and watering them there until they're weaned. They're coming in slow today, but hopefully we can get all the calves that will come in. And then there are some fallborn calves that are coming in to feed as well. I'm going to try to sort them off because um, I don't plan on weaning them right now anyway. So I haven't dumped the feed yet and we've got four in there that I want. About to be five. There's a couple more coming, so I don't want to pour the feed till most of the calves are in. That way I can block off this creep gate while they're eating and go get the trailer. I think I've got four more to catch. Um, I'll have to catch the whole herd to catch them because they're not coming in for feed. Um, I'm going to sort that young one off. There's one other little one in here I need to sort off. Um, but I got the creep gate shot. And while I was over here getting the calves in, one of the cows fell over and she is stuck in the mud at the moment. It's not a whole lot of mud, but she's getting close to calving. And uh, I think she just got in a weird spot. So, uh, hey, hey, hey. Anyway, we're gonna try to get her up. I didn't bring a rope with me. I'll try to push her on her a little bit. Well, I went back to get the trailer, and, uh, and on my way back, see there's a couple calves out there, 
On my way back, I guess the calves got scared at some point, hit the panels. They knocked that whole side of panels down, and half of them escaped. <laughs> um, so luckily the ones that got out, they do, most of them come in for feed, with the exception of one or two that I caught um, later. But So we'll just take this group of 10 today, and then I'll get the other 10 to 15 tomorrow, hopefully. So I'm definitely going to have to do some more work on these panels before I... Try to catch them again tomorrow, but I'm going to try to run them this way along the safe feeder. I'll have this short little gate open, and then I'll swing them into the trailer right here. So. There's five of them. It's gonna try to get six, but they didn't want to cram in here.
All right, that groove floated. The little one sorted off. I'm gonna open up this creek gate again. That way the calves can come in tomorrow. Well guys, we've got the calves all settled in. They found the water. I gave them a little bit of feed. And uh, I've got 13 in here right now. And like I said, if I, if the other ones wouldn't have gotten out while I was getting the trailer, I'd only have a couple left to catch. But <clears throat> anyway, that's the biggest one of the group. His mother is half Angus, half Holstein. And his dad's a straight Angus I'm guessing anyway so he probably weaned out at 500 pounds maybe a little more and pretty much the rest of all these black steers they're on the lighter side probably four 450 um, and there's one really small black one there um, anyway heifers beef master she's the biggest the other red white face is actually decent but once I get the other batch in here I'll take a better look at them and I can compare them to uh, compare them to mine and my dad's actual decent calves. We can see the weight difference there, but I know these are I know these are quite a bit smaller than the beef calves we've got out in that field. But once again, for buying cheap call cows, um, of course there's a couple runs in here, but for cheap call cows, I'd say they did I'd say they didn't do too bad. Anyway, that's where I'm gonna end it for this video. Um, as I said, tomorrow morning, which will be a separate video, tomorrow morning, I'll hopefully catch the rest of the calves to wean, and then once they're weaned for a week or two, then we'll get to working them and banding the bulls and giving them shots and all that kind of stuff. So that's the plan. So thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one, and I will see you all next time.